Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your Friday is off to a great start. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, today I'm super excited. I get to share with you some brand new products um, at a new, new to me shop. It's the Scrappy Tales um, Craft Shop and she had just launched some brand new stamp sets and dies and um, sent them to me to share with you guys. And so today we're gonna create a really fun project uh, using a couple of them. I did wanna share with you some of the stamp sets. This one here is called the German Winter Village. So cute, great for scene building. Um, ice skaters, some buildings, Christmas trees. This one here is what we're gonna be using today and it's called the Christmas Village. And then you have the Cardinal Blessing stamp set. All of those are six by six stamp sets and they're um, quality photopolymer. And then what we're gonna use today is this die set. This is called the Slimline Shadow Box um, Craft Die Set. It is super neat and it's a Slimline Shadow Box, so it's super fun. This one we're not gonna use, but I did wanna share it with you. This one is called the Slimline Pop-Up Box Gift Card Die. So you can create a little pocket, put a gift card in um, behind your shadow box. Um, but there's other dies that that will go with also. So just want to share with you some products that are over in the shop. I'll leave um, the Scrappy Tail shop down below if you guys want to go over there and give Sabrina some love. She's the owner and she's very sweet um, and very talented, I must say. Okay, today we're going to start off by doing some stamping. Um, again, we're using the uh, Christmas Market stamp set, and I'm going to stamp all of the images just so you can see the cute little buildings in here, but we're only going to use a few of them um, for my shadow box. So we're taking some Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock, and I'm going to take the images, as many as I can fit on this panel. There's two Christmas trees in this set too. I'm gonna to stamp both of them. They're different sizes, which makes it great for scene building. But um, we'll take those and a couple of the buildings, and then we're gonna to have to bring in another piece of cardstock um, to stamp. There's a carousel in here, and there's also a Ferris wheel. So I thought to, it, we would make a fun, festive Christmas village with the Ferris wheel and the, um, the carousel and then one of the little gift shops in the stamp set. I'm just trying to squeeze as many as I can in here. And I think we can probably get one more if, if I can squeeze it in. Um, in this stamp set, there's um, like a little bakery, which is so sweet. And then there's a little like maybe a gift wrapping uh, store. I don't, it's just, they're just adorable little shops. Okay. We're going to close our lid and pick up our images and then I'll take my Memento Tuxedo Black ink, ink up my images really well. And then, um, I am going to do some Copic coloring. Um, since I wasn't sure how long, um, it was going to take me to put the shadow box together. I did leave the coloring out just to shorten the video a bit, but, um, I just used some, I want to use, this year I'm using a lot of pinks for Christmas, and so I'm using some pinks and purples um, and greens for my project today. But this is what these images look like, and they are so cute. And now we're going to stamp the carousel and the Ferris wheel, and they are so, so cute too. Okay, I did stamp a couple more trees, but I colored them in, and there are coordinating dies for this set. But I chose to, um, I don't have them, so I just fussy cut them out. It's super easy to do. But you can see the bright colors that I use. But kind of going with the past, with the pinks and the purples um, for my Christmas projects this year. <laughs> okay, we're going to set these aside and we're going to make a shadow box. Okay, this is the die set and there are tons of dies in here, including a happy birthday sentiment with an outline. And then there's also a hello sentiment and outline. So you get kind of like a bonus. So you can make a just because card or a birthday card. Okay, we are going to separate these and super easy to create the shadow box. We're gonna start off by die cutting out our base piece. We need a front and a back. And so our um, we'll set the rest of those dies aside. But this is the base piece. Um, we're gonna die cut out this with white cardstock. So I'm gonna grab a piece 
and then um, we're gonna run this through the die cutting machine. And you, you know what, as I look at this guys, I think it might be bigger than the platform of your die cutting machine. So this is my Platinum 6, and um, it looks like it's about a half an inch longer. So you could do that, you could cut this out in two steps, just tape it down really good. But for me, I'm gonna, I have my Platinum machine which is a has a plate that is eight and a half by eleven, so I know it's going to fit in this one. So we're going to just die cut it out with white cardstock, and this is going to be the back of our shadow box. We'll run this through. Okay, and then there's score lines on here too, which makes it super easy for folding. Okay, now next we're going to take our same base die, and then we're going to add a window to it. So I'm gonna grab and um, try to show you the score marks, but the lighting's not the greatest. <laughs> so we're gonna place this again on some more white cardstock. Just scoot it over a bit. And then in the die set, there's three rectangle um, dies. Now these are great um, for layering, stacking, you for um, creating different size windows. You can see here. And also to create frames too. I took the medium size put that inside um, the rectangle part of my base die, and we're gonna run this through, and what this is gonna do is gonna create a window in, for my shadow box here. Okay, after we have this die cut out, we're gonna take some blue cardstock, and we are gonna do a little bit more die cutting. I'm gonna take a um, larger, the largest rectangle in the set, and we're gonna die cut this out. This is gonna be our background panel. Um, if you want to do two of these, you can put one for your the back of your shadow box and maybe add an extra message. And then there's this little rectangle die that will create your side panels for your shadow box. I die cut out two of those with my blue card stock. And then I'm also going to die cut out this decorative piece. And this is where I'm going to stamp my sentiment. So we're, we use blue card stock for that as well. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit more die cutting, this time with white cardstock. Um, in the die set, there is a, a wavy border. Now this is nice because it could be a snowbank for your winter cards, but it could be a hillside also for scene building, which makes it really nice. I die cut three of those out. This white piece was the, the window part that we cut out. You can see how I layered it. It's great for layering, but we're not gonna use that for our card today. Okay, we're gonna grab our base die, um, our background, and then our window. And then we are gonna create a shadow box, which I think is so fun. It always amazes me how flat they fold. And then when you just open them up, how dimensional it is. For my background, we are gonna do a, bit, a little bit of ink blending here. Now I sped this part up really fast um, to save some time, but I'm using Faded Jeans Distress Oxide Ink and I'm gonna do a little bit of shading over the left and right and the top of this panel here. Just a little bit of shading so I have a different color. After I have this shaded, I'm in hyperdrive here and I'm gonna do the side panels on the very top and we'll do our second one here. And then we're gonna do our decorative panel too. I wanted a little bit of shading around this as well. After we have the faded jeans down, we're gonna take our black soot and I'm gonna go around the edges of my blue panel with the black sit. I've been loving the way this looks for a snowy uh, uh, sky scene. So we're gonna do that. I needed some post-it note tape, so uh, my fingers were getting pretty inky <laughs> with that black sit. But we're gonna add it to all of our panels here to create a nice sky. Now once this is done, if you're not dizzy yet, I'll slow it down right now. <laughs> I'm gonna take some white ink spray and we're going to do a little bit of snowfall in the background. I'm just going to shake it up really good, grab my little spray box, and then we'll insert all of our little elements and add some snow um, in the background. Now this is not bold white guys. If you wanted a more bold white snowy background, you can maybe use acrylic paint and water it down. Um, but this does uh, pull back on the color quite a bit, but I still like the effect. I think it looks like a very soft, a snowy background. We're going to do our side panels also, and we're also going to do our panel, our decorative panel. The decorative panel we're going to stamp our sentiment on, 
and so I thought that would be real pretty on the back of our shadow box. Okay, our spray is going to need to dry a little bit, so while that's drying, we are going to create our um, our shadow box. So first, what we're going to do is you need a well, you don't need a bone folder, but I'm going to use my bone folder, and at the score mark, I'm going to fold it over and just reinforce that score line here. This is about a two inch. Um, mark where you're going to be scoring. Next we're going to score this um, score, uh, fold at this score line. And my paper wanted to crack and I was hoping it I could, it would, my paper is pretty thick and I, did, I was hoping it wasn't going to crack and it, it didn't. I got lucky. I'm going to take two of the snow banks and we are going to reinforce the score lines on there. There's um, two of them, one on the left and one on the right. And then our third one, um, I'm actually going to trim down. Now this is great if you want to put it on the front of your shadow box, but um, I like frames, so I'm going to actually put it on the inside. Um, I want to get this panel ready. This is my background panel, so I'm going to score at these score marks too. And they're the same. Uh, one's about a half inch thick, the other one again is two inches thick. Okay, so that one's ready to go. Okay, we'll take our flat piece. I'm going to add a little bit of glue. We need to trim it down though. This is, um, since you are folding in at the score marks, it's going to be a little bit long. So you want to use your scissors and trim it down. That's only if you're going to put it on the inside of the shadow box. We'll trim the left and the right. And then um, I'm going to flip it over to the inside of our window. And then we're going to add a little bit of glue here. This way we have a little snow bank um, on the inside of our panel. This will be our first little uh, dimensional piece. And I think I got it a little bit too long, so we're going to trim off just a smidgen. <laughs> a smidgen, I haven't used that word in a long time. Okay, just a little bit there. Okay. So that's one snowbank. Now for the others, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to flip it over and we are going to um, take our little snow heels. And what we're going to basically do is create like a step on that two inch side piece. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is add adhesive. I'm going to add it just to one side and then we're going to, I was going to tack it down straight up and down, but I thought it'd be easier to show you if it was flat. So. I'm just going to kind of eyeball where um, where I want it and I, I, I want to make sure that I don't see, um, I want to make sure that the, there's different levels and you can't see in between them. So basically it, it looks like a stair step. You can see here on the left, very easy to do. Once those are tacked down, I'm going to go ahead and add adhesive to that half inch strip on, on the right here. And then I'll take my two inch um, side on my background piece and we'll just tack that down. We're putting the two inch strip on the inside. Now once we have this done, I'm gonna add adhesive to the little tabs on my snow banks. And then I'm gonna fold over the left two inch strip, making it, making it flat. Easy, easy, just hold it down with your hand. And then all you have to do is fold. You don't even have to fold. You just press down on those tabs on, on the other side and it'll automatically do its thing. Super easy to do. <laughs> this end that is open. So what I'm going to do is add adhesive to that half inch strip. There's a little gap, so I could have lowered it just a little bit, but um, I wasn't concerned because I think I can hide that with my images. So on this half inch flap, I'm going to add adhesive and then we'll just tack down this, this side and it creates a flat box. Easy peasy. <laughs> so, but when you open it, you have three different layers. You have the window and then two extra layers. And you guys, you can add as many layers as you want. That's the fun thing about shadow boxes. Okay. And with, with it being a slim line, which means it's a larger shadow box, it makes it super fun because you can add lots of elements. Now I'm adding my side panels. I'm just using my, uh, my tape runner to adhere them. 
and it does create um, a little bit of a border around your side panels, which is nice. And next for my background, we're gonna add adhesive to this, and I'm gonna slide it in the back. You could do this before you add your, um, close up your box, but this is just as easy. We'll add our background panel, so we have a nice dark wintry sky. Okay, now we get, it's the fun part, now we get a little decorate. <laughs> I went ahead and added all three of my buildings. So I have my carousel, my Ferris wheel, and then my little gift, we'll call it a gift wrap shop. <laughs> there's Christmas trees and there's presents in that little shop. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some Christmas, well these are pine trees. Um, you can make them Christmas trees if you want, but I'm adding it one to the front two to the middle layer, and then one to the, th um, the one to the third layer there. So it just creates a lot of dimension, guys, and you can put it all the way in the background if you want. Okay, next we're gonna stamp our sentiment in the stamp set, the um, Christmas market uh, stamp set. There is a beautiful sentiment that says Merry Christmas, and it'll fit this panel beautifully. So I'm going to ink it up with my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. Stamp this right in the center. And as I stamp this, guys, I had a black ink smudge right below the Mary. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I have a plan on fixing that. We're going to go ahead and adhere this to the back of our shadow box. Isn't that a pretty font? Okay. I'm being careful because the ink's still wet. Versifying um, has a tendency to stay wet longer. Okay, so this is what our box looks like so far. Now I'm going to do a little bit more. Um, I have a piece of white cardstock and I'm going to bring back the, um, the hillside or the snowbank die that came in the set. And I'm going to die cut out snowbank on the bottom. And then I have some snowflakes for my stash. We're going to die cut lots of snowflakes. I'm doing it with white cardstock, and then I also die cut out some with um, some teal colored cardstock. Um, and I thought we would embellish our background with some snowflakes. Now, for our snowbank, I took the side panel die and ran the snowbank that I die cut out earlier, um, ran it through with the um, side panel die. This way, it's the exact same. Uh, width as my um, my panel. If you want to use your paper trimmer, you could, but I thought this was just easier. But I added a little snowbank to the left and right on the side of my, my box here. And now we're going to go ahead and add some snowflakes. I think these two are, um, I have two large snowflakes that we're going to add to the back of our sentiment. I think they're a little too big for our scene. But um, if you want to add a little dimension with the snowflakes, you just tack them to your buildings or your Christmas trees and it, it creates even more dimension. I did add one right in front on that snowbank there. And I love the way this turned out. It was so much fun. It looks like you spent so, so much time on it, but it was actually super easy. The nice thing is, is when you fold it, okay, when you fold it flat, guys, you know, um, when you fold it flat, it measures nine inches by four inches. Okay, so this is going to fit in a standard um, business envelope. In fact, I'm going to go grab one before we embellish it. Just to show you, um, it, it slides right into your envelope with ease. And there's no extra bulk too. I don't even think you would need extra postage. Depends on how much um, embellishing you have inside your window box. But let's grab an envelope and then we're going to um, fold it. When it's opened up, guys, it measures seven inches by four inches with a two and then um, two inches wide. So uh, here's an envelope. You're just going to lay it flat and it slides in beautifully. There's plenty of room in there and this is a standard size envelope. So you can you can see how how flat it lays. It's super neat, huh? <laughs> you can see the pictures too, the dimension that it has. Okay, now I do have to add some sparkle. So I have my, my Ranger um, diamond stickles out. I basically, what I'm gonna do is go over some snowflakes with it. Um, and then also to some elements of our, um, our images, like on the carousel, the horses, I wanted to add a little sparkle to the presents. In the little present shop, I wanted to add some sparkle there along with the little wreath. 
and then also to the um to the ferris wheel and most all the snowflakes they added sparkles it's like an iridescent sparkle so i wanted to just create something a little bit subtle but create a little extra wow factor here <laughs> And I, I'm loving the way this turned out. So this is my project today using the Scrappy Tails Crafts um, Slimline Shadow Box Craft Die. If you guys are interested in it, the link is down below. If you want to check out the Scrappy Tails shops and show her some love, um, I'll link her shop down below. She's a very sweet girl. And I think you're going to love some of her products over there, or all of them actually. <laughs> um, but I thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.